check back with you shortly. A big story we are following today for the first time in decades. Killer nurse Janine Jones is back in a courtroom to face charges of murder. Jones telling a Bear County judge she is not guilty of killing five babies who were in her care in the early 1980s. Our Dylan Collier reports on the case that's dominating conversations at the courthouse. The walker used by Janine Jones Monday was replaced Thursday with a wheelchair. The 67-year-old, while arraigned inside 399th District Court, also wore a surgical mask, though officials refused to say why. The front row, filled by family members of babies who would now be in their mid-30s. Their lives instead, according to prosecutors, ended by a woman who personifies evil. The charge with the murder of the 1981 death of Paul Varial, how do you plead to that? We have a plea of not guilty. The not guilty plea repeated for all five counts of murder. Jones then quickly wheeled from view. Her attorney, Cornelius Cox, calling today the start of a challenging road ahead. We're going to continue the process of sifting through uh, the evidence and doing the best that we both can do to, uh, to represent our client. The district attorney's office confirming this week that a plea bargain could be offered to Jones. Cox said any talk of a plea deal is premature and that the next few weeks will be spent studying evidence that is now three and a half decades old. I just started law school in 1981, so it goes back a long ways. And guilt or innocence in these cases could come down to whether prosecutors can prove Jones injected these babies with a powerful muscle relaxant. Family members of the alleged victims were rushed away from court without talking to the media. Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.